Hi, my name is Richard Duffy. I'm part of the SAP Small and Mid-Size Enterprise team. And on behalf of everybody at SAP and our partners, I'd like to thank you for taking time to attend today's webinar. What I'm going to talk about today is our SAP Business One solution. Business One is SAP's answer for organizations who are looking for a business management application that can really provide a single system for them to help them streamline their entire business. So let's talk a little bit more about why we've built SAP Business One and what the challenges are that it addresses. So with 25,000 plus customers around the world who are already using an SAP Business One solution, we have a really great base from which we receive feedback about the challenges that organizations are facing. And I think it's fairly consistent whether you're a small business, a mid-sized organization, even a large organization. Businesses are all striving for the same thing. They really want a roadmap to better profitability and growth. They need to increase their customer base, improve customer service, and grow their income in a predictable fashion, as well as wanting to succeed in an increasingly competitive environment. They want to react quickly to change, and of course, they want to do all of these things whilst controlling costs. Now, of course, one of the things is going along that road, if you like, uh, is not without roadblocks. In businesses today, they want to respond to market needs faster and they want to improve their profits and their margins. Of course, they want to use better tools and technology and take advantage of what's there to really help them streamline their operations. And of course, they want to focus on what's important and spend more time focusing on what's important. You can see a quote here from one of our, uh, one of our customers who is a small business owner who made the comment that the main challenge that he actually faces is having the time and the ability to focus on the business instead of spending most of the day babysitting uh, the business instead of driving it. And why did he make that comment? Because like many people, he was finding it hard to you know, get the information that was needed when it was needed in a timely fashion. Is also finding it difficult to gain efficiency because like many organizations, there are a number of processes in place, but unfortunately some of those processes were broken. It was a challenge keeping multiple systems working together. And of course, as most of you who are running your own small businesses know, it's very difficult not to be distracted by day-to-day -day activities. So there's a couple of things that are really, really clear for people operating in today's business environment and what they need from a solution. It's very, very clear, again, from talking with uh, those 25,000 small businesses, as well as the hundreds and hundreds of small businesses that we talk to every month who are contemplating implementing a new solution. You know, what they have originally uh, is they have many different point solutions. Maybe they've got one system that does their, their Salesforce automation or customer relationship management, different system looking after the warehouse and maybe another package they're using for doing their financials and reporting. So they've got many point solutions that are out there that uh, in many cases have limited functionality. It's hard to get them to work together. They're difficult to change and costly to maintain. But what those small businesses are telling us they want is a solution that's comprehensive, gives them instant and real-time information, is intuitive, doesn't require a, you know, a, a, a university degree to actually use the software, is adaptable, and is easy to maintain. So we looked at what those challenges were, and we thought, how can we best address the concerns that our small business customers have and give them the things that they want? Our solution to that is SAP Business One. And SAP Business One is a core component of our small and mid-sized enterprise product portfolio. So where does SAP Business One fit into our product portfolio? It's the best fit application for small businesses that have really outgrown their accounting only applications. And what does it offer? Well, a couple of key things. It offers simplicity. It offers comprehensive functionality. It's extensible. And it provides rich, robust integration for business network connectivity. And I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, as we progress through. So we've made sure that we built a solution that was easy to use, that's affordable and fast to implement. In many instances, the fastest implementation I'm aware of was actually two or three days. But on average, an implementation of SAP Business One should take around four weeks. And the advantage of that rapid implementation and the ease of use is it delivers a really low total cost of ownership. We talked about this point of comprehensive functionality. We include 
the necessary functionality for organizations to manage their financials, their sales processes, importantly integrated customer relationship management right throughout the solution, light production, warehousing, purchasing, and of course their operations. So we've really tried to balance those things out, giving them simplicity and balancing that simplicity at the same time delivering comprehensive functionality. A couple of quick facts that you might not know about SAP Business One. SAP Business One version 8.8 .8 is the only application on the market today available with a single code base for small enterprises that's available in 40 country specific versions in 25 languages. In fact, with those 40 country specific versions, we have customers in more than 90 countries around the world today using SAP Business One. And they purchase SAP Business One exclusively through one of our more than 1,100 channel partners around the world. And that consists of 820 resellers, as well as 300 what we call software solution providers, who are the organizations who build complementary solutions that dovetail in seamlessly with SAP Business One to address very, very specific industry functionality. Business One is traditionally targeted at organizations with typically fewer than 100 employees but remember that's only a guide and as we go through and as you continue looking at SAP Business One and you have the opportunity to talk with either SAP or one of our partners we'll help you understand whether or not an SAP Business One solution is right for you. So when we talk about a single system to streamline your entire business really uh, there's a couple of key points we're talking about there. With SAP Business One and we're going to show you in a couple of seconds how we address all of this by giving you a quick demonstration. SAP Business One gives you uniform data across all your systems. Why? Because you're no longer running multiple systems that need to be synchronized. We integrate all your critical business functions. We help you eliminate duplication and redundancy. And importantly, we provide workflow alerts across the entire system that help you focus on the things that are important. And those things that are important are defined by you. You determine during the implementation process what are the key performance indicators that you want to manage and then your partner will configure the system accordingly. Having a single system, and I mentioned we have CRM integrated right throughout that single system, is important when it comes to strengthening customer relationships and loyalty. Why? Because it gives you a complete 360 degree view of your customers, makes it easy for you to respond quickly to customer requests. And one thing that a lot of people don't realize for those organizations where managing their suppliers or their vendors is equally important, a lot of that CRM functionality can be used with not only with customers but also with suppliers. So we start to get what's known as supplier relationship management as well. And that's because we have this concept of the, the entity that you work with inside SAP Business One is called a business partner, whether it's a customer, a supplier, or a prospective customer. Also, SAP Business One gives you the ability to make better and more informed decisions. Why? Again, it's providing you a single source for all your business information. And that can be extended out. So if there's additional information you need to track inside SAP Business One, and we haven't catered for that in some of our data structures, you can quickly and easily modify that, those data structures to capture that information. And I'll give you a quick example of that. Also, SAP Business One provides centralized management of reports and layouts and again we're using the industry standard reporting engine Crystal Reports to do that. And that really enhances user productivity because it makes it quick and easy to get access to information and presents that information in a simple, easy to consume manner. We talked about adaptability. And one of the things that our customers tell us uh, and the small enterprises that we talk to as we do a, our research when we think about what we need to put into our next versions of the software, they really tell us that they need to be able to adapt to the unique needs of their business and industry. So what is this about? With SAP Business One, we've focused on delivering a best fit solution that in most cases will deliver 80 to 90% of the functionality that most small businesses are looking for. But there's that additional 
sometimes 20, 10% that they need to do additional work adapting the solution to their business. So what have we got to make that easy? Well, you can configure the system using do-it-yourself customization tools such as user-defined fields, forms, queries, and reports. So you can easily adapt the system as your business grows with those tools to provide those product modifications which will really help you meet those changing business needs. You remember I talked a little earlier about our software solution partners? Well, as I said, there are more than 550 solutions and 70 plus of those are SAP certified industry specific solutions that are available to meet your needs that can be deployed at the same time as the SAP Business One solution or in a staged approach over time. We also have a published software developers kit which provides reusable business objects and tools. What does that mean to you? Makes it very, very easy to do that additional customization. And of course, we provide out of the box integration with standard productivity tools such as Microsoft Office and Microsoft Outlook. And of course, one of the things that we have in the published SDK that I mentioned is it consists of open application programming interfaces for integrations to other business applications that you might be using in your organization today. We have a rapid implementation methodology that we provide to our partners that enables you to go as li live in as little as between two to eight weeks. Again, as I said earlier, fastest implementation I've seen was two to three days, but the average is around about six to eight weeks. So the rapid implementation methodology helps eliminate surprises and overruns in time or budget. It also enables straightforward migrations and integration with few interruptions and low user stress, which is critical. You want to make sure as you're implementing a new system that you continue to focus on the business, not bring everything to a grinding halt because you're implementing a new business system. That minimal disruption, again, is also supported with tools like the remote support platform, which kind of acts like a, uh, an automated IT consultant, which proactively identifies and prevents potential system issues, helps you secure your day-to-day -day business operations, so again, you're not babysitting the business, you're able to focus on the things that are important. And of course, SAP Business One's intuitive user interface is going to help you minimize your employee training and cost. Once you're familiar with one screen in SAP Business One, it's very easy just to open up another screen. So maybe you've got somebody who's responsible for looking after your supplier transactions and you need them one day to move across uh, and help out looking after your customer transactions. Well, they'll make that transition seamlessly because they'll be very, very familiar with how the SAP Business One the solution works from a supplier perspective and the user interface is consistent the business processes are consistent across there so again like I said minimizes that employee training and costs associated with doing that solution comes standard with the industry leading SAP crystal report application which allows you to design modify and run rich reports that provide compelling reporting functionality and instant access to critical business information. And it also, if you're utilizing the uh, Crystal Excelsior solution, it enables any of your business users to create powerful visualizations and dashboards. So not only do you get access to the information, but that information is presented in an engaging fashion for you so that um, you know, people can quickly determine trends and understand what's going on in the business from utilizing those reports rather than having to go through pages and pages of data to try and determine what's occurring. SAP Business One also provides cost-effective deployments for global installations. And remember I talked about this concept of business networks. What I'm going to talk about here is the fact that we have a single code base architecture that has localizations, as I mentioned, uh, available in 40 countries. And this really co reduces the complexity of integrating offices around the world. But it also gives you the ability to deploy SAP Business One in situations where you want to start doing business network integration with your suppliers and customers. So seamlessly exchanging transactions and information between your Business One system and other organizations around the world, whether they're running an SAP 
ERP solution or a solution from one of the other organizations also producing business management applications. So when you're thinking about that integration of your business network, we have a tool that's available out of the box, which is called the SAP Business One Integration for SAP NetWeaver. Quite a mouthful, but a very, very simple solution that really helps you integrate SAP Business One with other applications and other organizations in your ecosystem. It allows you to have a rapid setup with rich and proven out of the box scenarios that again we also deliver in the other products in the SAP product portfolio. So if you have made that decision uh, that you want to deploy SAP in all layers of your organization for example, these out of the box scenarios are available to provide that integration at all levels of the organization. Of course it's easily customizable and extensible via a flexible standard technology set and it has a very lightweight architecture so unlike some of our competitors we don't require you to deploy extra servers, extra infrastructure to enable you to utilize this technology. Final point that I'd like to make uh, is that part of the advantage of SAP Business One is that we have chosen to deliver the solution to our customers exclusively through partners. And we have a network of partners all around the world in countries from Russia to uh, Kenya, from France to New Zealand. Uh, we have partner organizations all around the world and those partner organizations work extremely well together. So if you're looking to do a deployment across multiple countries, we can help you coordinate that, uh, that deployment by working with those partners. So again, we got 820 of those partners at last count more than 300 software solution partners and we provide those partner organizations dedicated enablement tools and programs and of course they're all supported by our award-winning partner edge channel program which makes it easy for them to do business with us which in turn translates to uh, a very easy and um, simple way of them working together with you. Many people often say, well, gee, uh, isn't SAP a direct selling organization? And it's true that in our large enterprise space, we certainly do that. But what we've heard loud and clear from our small enterprise customers is this is the way they want to work because our partners really get to understand their specific requirements as a small or mid-sized enterprise. So I thought for a little bit of fun, why don't we actually have a look at a video talking about one of our customers that's running SAP Business One. Dave's Gourmet is a company based out of San Francisco in the US. Uh, they uh, work in the consumer products industry and they make a pretty unique product. But rather than me talking about it, why don't I let the guys from SAP TV introduce you to, uh, to Dave's Insanity Source. And uh, then we'll come back after this and we'll have a little bit of a chat about you know, what it was that Dave was trying to achieve and why they selected SAP Business One. Warning. Use this product one drop at a time. Dave's Insanity Hot Sauce is so hot. <laughs> It can be a springboard to YouTube stardom. Oh, shit. So hot, you'd have to be crazy to try it. Welcome to hell, buddy. And the mad genius behind Insanity Sauce, oh. Dave Hirschkop. Dave concocted his Insanity Sauce while running a Mexican restaurant as a gimmick. The idea, though, was not to attract customers, but to actually try to drive them away. You know, we had a lot of drunks come in late at night and they'd steal things and break things. So I started making hot sauces just to mess with them and you could just see them sweating and just their, their eyes got, you know, watery and <laughs> it was pretty entertaining. But the joke, in a way, was on Dave. The hot sauce was a hit with students both drunk and sober. I wouldn't kiss him if I were you. Realizing he'd caught lightning in a bottle, Dave began refining his recipe, always striving for ever hotter. I can only make it so hot as like the hottest pepper, but I wanted to make it much hotter than that. So I, I started saying, wow, what if I took the heat out of the pepper and put it directly in the sauce? And that's what I did and made Insanity Sauce, which was magnitudes hotter than anything on the market at the time. There were competitors to be sure, and the hot sauce wars heated up. 
But you can't be on top forever. We're sitting in millions of refrigerators all across the nation, but the same bottle will sit in those refrigerators for two years, a year, three years. If insanity sauce was a cookie, we would have had $60 million in sales at that point. So we sort of reached a plateau where super hot hot sauce wasn't going to sell that much more. And then this salsa's out of stock, right? Yeah. And that's when Dave had another one of his great ideas. I decided on pasta sauce as the step forward because they turn a lot faster. You go through a jar of pasta sauce much faster. And over the last couple of years, Dave's business has gone from this to this. Dave, ever the idea guy, comes up with the flavors. The recipes are perfected in this little office kitchen. Yeah, this one, the spices are way out of whack. And Dave's latest brainstorm? Well, now we have a butternut squash pasta sauce. It's radically different. And so popular, Dave's having a hard time meeting production. Sales on the pasta sauces have been fantastic. We're looking at probably 50% plus growth next year. Uh, we had high growth this year. We think the following year we could grow 100%. What department is this? We don't have departments. She's like the everything department. But with just nine employees, keeping track of sauces, shipments, and supplies became too much for Dave's boutique operation. He was searching for a sophisticated business software package when someone told him about SAP. I never would have thought SAP would make a system for a company like us. When I think of SAP, I always thought of this is a company that delivers you know, multi-million dollar software packages for multinationals. But SAP has taken that global experience and created a powerful package, Business One, for small companies exactly like Dave's. By taking reports and scheduling them, and they come to me via email, but it's throwing the information at me that I need to see. Every other day, I can have any sort of report come to me in my email, whether I'm here or, or any city in the world, and say, wow, you know, look at that. Um, we're going to run out of that product if we don't order. So it's really helping me be a better manager. Allowing Dave's Gourmet, a company founded on the premise of developing the hottest sauce in the world. I couldn't breathe. I actually couldn't breathe. To grow its business and expand its product lines, to now meet the taste of just about everyone. Is it good? All right. So there you have it, a pretty interesting story, uh, the guys at Dave's Gourmet and uh, what looks like a pretty interesting product. So what were the challenges that they were struggling with? So again, they wanted to automatically generate reports for fact-based business decisions and sales calls. They also wanted to manage the growth uh, and increase in revenue whilst maintaining a lean staff to keep their costs down. Their objective was to install a business management solution to improve their information visibility and support their growth. Six week implementation, they did a full re-examination of the business processes and they automatically uh, migrated the data from their legacy system. Why did they choose SAP? Full function solution at a competitive cost, flexible, stable and scalable in terms of functionality and pre-configured to support the best practices. And of course, most important thing, the benefits that they gained, accelerated order flow and shipping times by 35% better customer uh, service. They reduced their inventory by 15%, which drove costs down, lowered their incidence of out of stock items by 75%. And then again, you saw Dave talking about the fact that he now got uh, his reports when he was out on the road. So really facilitated that better decision making. Uh, and that's really a, a key issue for many small businesses. So now let's go and have a look at the SAP Business One solution just quickly. I'm gonna take you through a, a little demonstration scenario, give you a look at the user interface and show you uh, how, for example, uh, what we uh, call management by exception and workflows uh, operate inside the, uh, inside the software. So what we're looking at here is SAP Business One version 8.8. .8. This is the very latest uh, edition, if you like, of, uh, of SAP Business One. So right now I'm actually logged in uh, as two separate users. At the moment I'm logged into OEC Computers as uh, a user called Sophie. 
and you can also see hidden in the background here I'm also logged in in another session uh, also to OEC computers as a user called Jason and Jason is my manager and Sophie is the lady who's responsible for doing our sales order entry now Sophie's only fairly new uh, and part of our company policy is that when somebody's new for the first week or two what we want to do is we want to make sure that all their sales orders are double checked so rather than having to rely on people to remember to do that we've used some functionality in SAP business one which is called uh, uh, approvals and it has a workflow sitting there behind it so I'm going to quickly show you how that works and point out a couple of the key features in the SAP business one user uh, interface so you can see here is my menu and I have uh, all of my functions here all the modules that I have access to so from Sophie's perspective common things she's going to go into are sales quotation sales orders deliveries and so on but what she might want to do is she might want to uh, be in a situation where she's going to access this sales order screen on a fairly regular basis so what she can do is she can use this functionality here called My Menu. This allows Sophie to go ahead and customize the screens and the functions that she uses on a fairly regular basis. So here's her sales order. She can go up here into Tools, go into My Menu and add that to My Menu. Here you can see representation of what's in the My Menu. So this is a form she accesses on a fairly regular basis. She's going to call it the sales order, leave it as it is, and then she says Add and that's now done so the very next time Sophie needs to go and access the sales order rather than going from there what she can do is she can operate inside her my menu and there it is there's the sales order that takes her straight into the system now anywhere that I'm operating inside SAP business one um, that I want to do a lookup you'll get visual cues right throughout the entire system so you can see here for example here's my customer field I can do a, a quick look up just by clicking on this button and I can see all of my business partners in here now let's say for example I know that my business partner code begins with a C but I'm not quite sure um, you know exactly which one it is what I can do I can do wildcard lookup so I can put a C and then an asterisk and hit enter and you'll see immediately the screen pops up and it'll locate as close to the information that I've been able to put in as possible so let's go ahead and we'll choose Earthshaker Corporation and so here's Earthshaker there's my contact person which is Bob McKensley so what I want to do is I want to put in the delivery date so I'm gonna set the delivery date to be today so all I have to do is put D in there and it auto sets the delivery date for me now a couple of other things that you'll notice inside SAP business one we want to make it as easy as possible for you to access information that you need in order to make decisions so right throughout the system you'll see this what we call the golden arrow this gives you the ability to then drill down to the underlying data so let's say before I process this order for Earthshaker I want to see some more information about them Again, all Sophie has to do, one click, and it opens up the business partner master data. And there's all the information about Earthshaker. You know, name, rank, serial number, telephone numbers, addresses, and so on. All the contact people at Earthshaker, what different addresses they have with multiple shipping addresses, their payment terms, uh, and so on and so forth. Plus, let's say that I'm in a situation where they ask me for a discount. Well, I can now immediately get full drill down and start seeing uh, information about this account that I can then use to make that decision as to whether or not I'm going to give them a discount. For example, right now I can see uh, they've got an account balance of 40500 So again, one click drills me down and I'm able to go and show all of the transactions that are in there and drill down. <coughs> By the way, let's say here's a transaction here. And when I was talking to Bob, um, at, uh, at Earthshaker he had something to say about this transaction again I can click drill down to this transaction and I can quickly add a note to this particular transaction or I can record an activity this is the CRM functionality that sits right throughout SAP Business One so I can say here is my activity and it's just a note so what kind of note is it well it's a general note and then I can put in a follow-up note and I can say here uh, check with Bob on the delivery of this order 
and it records the date and the time that I put this in. I can put in a uh, put in a priority, and then what I can do is I can also go ahead and flag a follow up, so it'll automatically remind me in a day or two days or whenever I schedule a follow up for to come back and check on that. And guess what? Using the Outlook integration that's available in SAP Business One, that can be automatically synchronized with my Outlook calendar as well. So if I'm out on the road, my Outlook synchronized to my iPhone or um, you know to my Windows mobile device or my BlackBerry, that reminder is going to come up with all the associated information because I've synchronized it across to uh, Microsoft Outlook. So I'll just go ahead and say add. So I've put in that note there against that uh, that particular document, and then I can drill back through the system to where I started from. So here's my order. So uh, like I said, Sophie's one of our new team and I wanna make sure that every order she puts in gets checked. So let's go ahead and we'll do the order. So Bob wants to order a HP LaserJet. So Sophie puts in the information here. Uh, you can see the quantity of one, uh, the unit price uh, and all the associated details. Now, right throughout SAP Business One, you can right click and that brings up additional functionality. So for example, Sophie can go ahead and double check to make sure the gross profit she's making on this order is sufficient. So all she does is choose gross profit and there you can see the gross profits being calculated for her. So, you know, there's the base price, um, there's the sale price, so there's her gross profit and the gross profit is a percentage, so that's all okay. So you know, again, what I could do is I could trigger an approval process if the gross profit was below a certain percentage. So if somebody tried to make a sale where the gross profit was below 20%, which you'd set as your minimum, and they tried to process an order, the system will kick in and automatically trigger off a workflow. So what does the workflow look like? Here's my sales order. I'm now ready to add it. So Sophie just says add. So bang, up it comes and it says, hey, you're going to need an order approval for this. So hopefully I'm going to be able to go and do this fairly quickly because I'm going to ta alt tab across into my other SAP Business One session. So you can see this uh, this approval automatically come through to the manager. So I'll say please approve and I'll hit OK and then I'm going to dive across here. And here is Jason, our manager, who's sitting there doing his job. And you can see, bang, up pops the alert. There's a request for document approval. Please approve, that's great. So now Jason can go ahead and he can drill down, do the same thing. Here's the request for approval, it's pending. Uh, he can make a decision now. What's he gonna do? Well, again, he can drill down and look at that document, make sure everything's okay, yep. Got all the right information, got a delivery date. Yeah, it's for Bob. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the gross profit. Yep, it's 53%, so that's okay. That's within tolerance. So everything looks good. Sophie's done the right thing. So that's fantastic. So what Jason's gonna do, he's gonna say that's approved, and he'll update that. And then when we go back, and we're looking at this from Sophie's perspective, what she'll now see uh, is she'll get a pop-up in a couple of seconds letting her know that that order has been approved and she can go ahead and process it. So there you go, you can see we're back in as Sophie, her sales order has been approved and of course I'm able to go up and quickly view uh, exactly what happened in the um, in the approval process because I can go here and I can choose the approval status report and again I can see exactly what's going on at uh, quarter past five Jason approved the order and everything's good so Sophie can now go and she can add that order orders now added and away it goes and continues on through the uh, through the process. So that's a quick snapshot, a quick look at one of the, the, the areas of functionality that's inside SAP Business One. And of course, if you're sitting there and you're thinking, well, I don't sell a product, I actually sell services. Well, the great thing about SAP Business One is it has the capability to handle both product and service-based invoices. So you can see here, I've got the ability to do items or I can do services and SAP Business One will cope with both of those scenarios. So that brings to today's session to a close. I wanted to thank you for taking time to, to join us for today's webinar. 
If you'd like more information on SAP Business One, there's a couple of different things you can do. First thing you can do, of course, uh, you can contact your local SAP office, or you can find us on the web at www.sap.com SME, or you can feel free to email me at richard.duffy at sap.com. Again, my name's Richard Duffy. Uh, I'm part of the SAP Small and Mid-Sized Enterprise Global Team. I'll be more than happy to uh, to put you in touch with the right person who can help you out with your SAP Business One inquiry. I hope you've now got a good understanding of what SAP Business One 8.8 is all about, how it addresses the challenges that you may be facing as a small business. You've seen a little bit of a snapshot of one of our existing customers, and you've also had a look uh, or a brief look at the actual product itself and seen a little snapshot of the of the functionality that's available in there again we look forward to having the opportunity to work with you and helping you make your business a best run business with sap business one thank you